Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're talking about how did you find out your girlfriend was cheating on you? Not safe for work. And also fellas, these stories are pretty bad, but don't let it get you down. There's a lot of good women out there. I woke up in the middle of the night when she was in the bathroom, used her phone as a light. Then, I saw texts from her ex about how good it felt to come inside her the day before. Oh man, hope you're doing good today. Well, is better than the day before at least. Freaking rest in peace my brother, I've been there too, not in the same context though, but close, for myself, I waited until she left for work, and took all of her furniture and belongings, and put them outside in the Carolina heat, dead summer, I also changed the locks to the house and confronted her as soon as she came home, the look on her face was pure and utter confusion. Where I lived growing up that was called, a trailer park divorce, haha, and since it was so darn poor, sometimes people would pick over the things in the front yard, or offer money to the injured party in the trailer like a yard sale, I don't know the legality of it all, but it did happen the few times I saw. Her boss, who she was called me to tell me. Hey asshole. Stop bothering my girlfriend, if you keep calling and stalking her I will beat the shit out of you. I told him that. I wasn't bothering, or stalking her, I'm dating her. I would call and text like most boyfriends and wait outside the building to go to lunch with her from time to time. When I was able to provide enough proof that I wasn't some psycho, as she had explained to him, we realized, that we both were dating her with no knowledge of one another for like over a year, he apologized. Hey man. I'm so sorry, tell you what, let me take you out to dinner, but before that, stop by and meet me in the office. The look on her face, when he and I, walked past her cubicle was priceless. We said nothing, he took me out for an expensive dinner for threatening to have my ass kicked, we sent simultaneous texts breaking up with her, and pics of us cheering over a couple glasses of wine. I was 23, she was 29, and he was 57. Here is some more on the story, I ended up finding out two years later that he got back with her, eventually, his second wife found out, and went nuts on him, that made the news here because he was an embattled local politician. He ended up getting divorced publicly, the ex called the FBI saying, he was into some sick stuff sexually, so he was arrested for possession of kitty porn, and other grossly abnormal sexual content a number of months later after his house was raided, turns out his mistress, my ex, and he were into sex with animals, there was videos of her having sex with multiple dogs, I found out all of this via the local channel 8, and ended up going to a doctor and asking, is there anything I could contract sexually from an animal? I didn't properly preface the question with the reason as to why, and that doctor pieced the f out for a good 10 minutes with a spooked look on his face, he came back and told me about a few parasites, and beat the elephant out of the room, the tests were $400 out of pocket, came back all thumbs up though, that doctor will never forget me. I was putting on a movie for our 2 year old son on the laptop, then the messenger went off with message previews, it was some guy saying how much fun he had the previous night, while she was supposed to be helping a friend at work for extra money, so I decided to read more of her messages and find one of some guys thanking her for a threesome, all while she was 6 months pregnant with our child, I confront her, but she plays dumb, then proceed to show her screenshots of all messages, I'm now happily divorced, cheers. Do you, have shared custody? I'm glad you left her. Yeah, I'm sure the threesome guys get to take care of the kid on alternate weekends. The two other participants of the threesome, and the dude share custody with the mom, in a wacky new sitcom. Three's a company, four's a custody. <laughs> Coming this fall. Oh, I would watch that. I actually learned about it thanks to my cat, so my girlfriend didn't work while I did, so she was often staying at my place alone while I was working throughout the week. One day my cat pissed on a pile of clothes she had left laying in the room over the week, and came to bitch me out over it, I apologized and offered to just take them to the laundromat to get them cleaned, in the pile of clothes was a pair of mailboxes, not mine, and some socks that were neither mine nor hers. I took her cat pissed stained clothes along with that dude's underwear, and told her to get out of my apartment. One faithful pussy, one not so much. What a good kitty. I hope you gave your kitty all the treats and boxes after that. Oh you bet, I treated my cat, like a king after that, he's such a good boy. 
I knew she was cheating for months, but she kept denying it, I begged her to admit it so we could just move on, laying in bed one night, I remembered she had logged onto Facebook once a long time ago through our Nintendo Wii, so I dug it out, opened it up and it had the password saved, so I went into her Facebook, over 3500 DMs that month alone between her and the dude, trash talking me, freaking cunt. Dude. That we, was a bro, holy shit. Wheeze, before she's. I will never understand people like that, if you're unhappy enough to cheat and all you do is trash talk your boyfriend or girlfriend, why the hell don't you just break up? I'm sorry that this happened to you, and I hope you're doing well now. Simple, because if he never finds out, she can just come back later. A monkey never lets go of one branch before it has a firm hold on another. When sampling the goods, a wise man always knows to compare the goods against a known quantity. I got called at 3 a.m. to pick my girlfriend up at the police station for a DUI, I wondered what the f she was even doing, so I asked to see her texts, first time ever, she scrolled fast, but I saw one that said, hey, down for a f session? Three years wasted with her, but she's crazy, so I dodged a bullet. I think it is perfectly fair, that if you're bailing her out of jail that you get to check her phone, one of the few times where that is acceptable. I wouldn't bail her out after that, lol. They don't give back the phone until she's bailed out, so this had to be after. Hi. I would like to make a return, the product I received was used. Brutal, savage, wrecked. Today I up, by looking at my fiancé's location history, and found out that she has been cheating on me. So, this happened two days ago. I had been together with my girlfriend for almost four years, I proposed to her about a month ago, she said yes, and we were incredibly happy. Or so I thought. About three weeks after our proposal, I notice she starts acting differently, not having sex with me, looking away slash down when we kiss, she had also been spending way too much time, at least four days of Monday to Friday each week, with her co-workers drinking beer after work, driving home drunk, and often pretty late, I went to a few of these gatherings but didn't really enjoy getting slammed on a Monday night, when I have work the next day, so I often opted out. We would also share our Google location with each other at all times, mostly because she traveled to sketchy places for work, and I would regularly go on trails, so it helped each of us know the other was safe, I looked at her location one day and it was turned off, I texted her about it and she said, Oh. Um, I kept getting notifications about it, so I had to turn it off. It hadn't been a problem for the past year, she turned it back on, and it was off again the next day, she also had two phones, a personal and a work phone, which she would keep both with her at all times, I only had the location for the personal phone, eventually she stopped using her personal phone and only used the work phone. Two days ago, about a month after the proposal, I decided to snoop because my suspicion was at its highest, and I just wanted to put it to rest, I used her computer to log into her Gmail account and looked at her timeline, she had been going to an address across town about 10 times in the past two weeks, I called her immediately because she said she was at the office finishing up some work that was due the next day, she said. Oh. Hi, I'm at work, but leaving to go to the grocery store. Which she did. So, I waited until she got home and confronted her about it, she said. Okay, I had been meeting a guy from work, but just to talk and hang out, and I didn't want to tell you because I knew you would just get mad. Turns out, she met him for the first time about two days after the proposal, and started seeing him at his house within that week, I kept prying, asking her more questions, she told me. Look. We only kissed twice, alright. But then it turned into that, they had made out, but she denied every accusation of sleeping with him every time I asked. The next day when I got home from work, I asked to see her phone to read the messages between the two of them. Um. You can't see them, because I deleted them. So I said I wanted to look at it anyways, just to be sure, I started recovering the data from the last backup, she sat down beside me while I was doing it. Um. What exactly, are you doing? I'm recovering the data on your phone. And the look of panic in her face was real. So, she starts talking about feelings and all this other crap while the phone is recovering, I asked her one last time. Before I look at this, is there anything you want to tell me? She was silent, I asked flat out. Did you sleep with him? Yes. Okay, I did. Turns out that she met with him almost every day, starting about 8 days after our proposal, and had sex with him most of those times, 
Funny enough, the data recovery didn't even work, so that's a win I guess. Planning on moving my stuff out later this week to a new place, haven't told her yet, still can't believe she started cheating on me less than two weeks after she said yes to my proposal, and even more so with someone she met a few days after the proposal, feels shitty but I'm keeping my head up. Please, don't ever take her back. Agreed, 110% ghost mode, she no longer exists, block and delete her from every social media, and email account, you owe her nothing, she'll want to quote unquote, have closure, don't do it, it's not for you, it's for her ego and her conscience, no talking, no sharing feelings, it's as if she moved to another planet. Stay strong, you hit the lottery finding out now. Never try to fix a shattered wine glass, you'll fail and you'll end up cutting yourself on the pieces trying. People who cheat say, Oh. We only talked. But, what it really means is. We fucked, like feral dogs. I feel sorry for the guy, but this story is like the, you're being cheated on, checklist bible. Hey, I just wanted to tell you, you definitely didn't fuck up, get your ring back, sell it, and throw yourself a huge, I dodged a bullet party. Then move on and never look back. Unfortunately, engagement rings are a huge loss. I paid $1,100 for a ring and provided a diamond, I had inherited as an heirloom to put in it, after the divorce, I went to a handful of local places to get offers on it, both pawn and jewelry shops, even with the diamond I provided, which I wouldn't sell, I'd be hard pressed to get $400 for it, so I use it to safely store the diamond. It also is a great reminder that I made it through a hard part of my life and came out the other side when I stumble across it during a move or something. Don't be scared to get that ring back. And take it to Mordor. People can be real assholes, my guess is she wasn't ready to break it off, so decided to do the absolute worst thing she could think of in order to have a solid reason for breaking up. Agreed, that or depending on her age, she wasn't ready to settle down, so she wanted to quote unquote, experience more, either way, this guy dodged a huge bullet and didn't even waste any money on a wedding or anything. This is the one that always kills me, at least the first time a girl I loved, wanted to experience more she broke up with me first, I respect the hell out of her for that, cheating is such a selfish way out. Edit, wow. Thank you all for the encouraging comments. They help so much more than I would have thought, some of these really got to me, and reading that I should have posted this as a life pro tip made me laugh. Most of all, it helped me confirm that it was not a, a f***ed up moment on my part, but actually a gift that it happened so early. Thank you all so much. I have shared this story before, but my girlfriend was arguing with her housemate and overheard them say. Well, yeah, at least I don't cheat when I go away. Just as I walked into the room. Don't know how intentional that was, but it turned out to be true. I transferred to night shift at work, to go to school during the day, so, she had all the time to do whatever she wanted, she went drinking with friends from work, now, I knew the guy she worked with flirted with her, however she said. Baby. You have nothing to worry about, his wife is going to be there. She texted me at 2.30am saying. Hey. We want to go to a different bar now. I said, I would pick her up, since bars close at 3am, I drove 45 minutes, just to find them in the car, it was the worst night of my life, finally got over it, I'm pretty happy, but I was with her for 7 years, I'm now 27, and it's difficult for me, to want to be with someone, I don't see myself daydreaming of a future with anyone, now I just daydream about building a business and traveling, not sure if that's good or bad. My relationship just ended after 6 years, I used to want a family and a wife, now I just want a career and to be debt free, I totally understand. She sent me Snapchat videos of her people, on Valentine's Day. Why would she do that though? I mean, cheating is bad, but that's just bloody horrid, you dodged a bullet there. I honestly have no idea, I'm not going to say I was perfect, but I do believe I really tried to be as good of a partner as I could be, and then she did that, even after accepting the gifts I gave her for Valentine's Day. A while before that, we were trying to have a baby together, after much discussion and preparation, she did get pregnant, and she told me she miscarried. However, after she broke up with me, she told me. In actuality, I just got an abortion, and I did the whole thing, to hurt you. I'm not sure if it's true, 
or whether she just said that to hurt me as much as she could on that Valentine's Day, but shit, that gutted me for a long, long, time. I have a date on Saturday, for the first time in a bloody long time, so wish me luck, lol. Her best friend called me, while my ex was having sex in the background to tell me. I think it would be best if you guys just broke up. Yes, I heard it all, and yes, her friend was in the same room as my ex at the time. So let me get this straight, her friend broke it off for you guys? Yeah, my ex had her friend call me, to break up with me for her, because my ex was otherwise preoccupied. Up, she doesn't deserve you. I know, right? I'm normally a very calm person but this is the only story here that makes me livid, if I was in his position I'd be so f angry. Edit, just saw the replies to this, and I gotta say, thanks for the supportive words, and yeah the friend called me maliciously, she even made sure I could hear what was happening at the time, and I was upset but I hung up the phone, moved her shit onto the curb to get thrown away and never spoke to either of them again, tried my best to brush it off. Here's another bonus breakup for you guys, I had my girlfriend over at my house with a few friends, was making everyone food in the kitchen, went to my bedroom to tell my girlfriend dinner was ready and found her f***ing a guy in my bed, yeah, I have a few of these stories, lol. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my other videos. Also, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and ring the notification bell.